Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before you click away from this video and look at one of the other thousands of videos on YouTube talking about flat pedals, stick around and I'll give you three tips which will improve your flat pedal riding experience. The Clips vs Flat Pedal debate is probably one of the oldest and most polarizing topics in mountain biking. There are lots of videos on YouTube talking about flat pedals like this one, and this one, and this one which discuss the pros and cons of both. So I'm not going to get into that. What I would like to discuss is why most new mountain bikers don't have a good experience with flat pedals. So the three topics I would like to discuss is kit, gear, and technique. And these three points should improve your experience using flat pedals if you're new to mountain biking. So let's talk about gear. Most of us would have started mountain biking with pedals like these, yeah? Our first mountain bike had a pair of pedals like these. And technically, there's nothing wrong with them, right? It's just how you intend to use it. Those are fine for riding flat, smooth surfaces like around your tongue or bike paths. But they're not suitable for mountain biking where the terrain is rough and technical with roots and rocks and so forth. And the main reason is that they don't offer a good contact surface for your feet and it makes it very easy for your feet to slip off the pedals. So putting a pair of MTB specific flat pedals like these will offer you a much better experience using flat pedals because it gives you a better contact surface for your feet. Flat pedals fall in a wide range of prices from 50 US all the way up to 100 US and more. Not sure what pedal you want to get but want to get the best bang for your buck? You could check out the Race Face composite pedals or the 1UP pedals. These pedals average online around 50 US, but they are really good pedals with solid composite materials with pins in the pedal. And these pins will make really good contact with the soles of your shoes, optimizing the grip your feet have with the pedals. I can hear you all saying right now, won't those pins dig into my calf or to my shins? It can happen, but if you use the right kit and technique, it will greatly reduce your chances of this happening. So this is a good segue and let's talk about kit. MTB specific flat pedal shoes like this will greatly improve your riding experience using flat pedals. If you use your gym or running shoes, you can get away with it, but it won't give you optimal performance for two reasons. The sole of most gym or running shoes aren't flat and therefore don't make optimal contact with the pins in the pedals. Therefore, this makes it prone to slipping off the pedal in rough and technical section of trails, which often leads to you smashing your chins into those pedals. Second reason is the rubber compound of your soles and your shoes aren't optimized for making contact with the pins of the pedals. Most MTB specific shoes have nice soft tacky rubber which the pins of the pedals could really dig into to maximize that grip. A good pair of flat pedal shoes can make your feet feel like they're glued to the pedal. In some cases, that may not be such a good thing, especially if you're trying to reposition your feet on the pedal. So it's, it's often a good idea to try out different brands of flat pedal shoes with different rubber compounds to find the fit and feel that suits you best. Just like flat pedals, Flat pedal specific shoes could come in a wide range of prices, it's ranging from 80 US to as much as 200 US. And yes, it could be a lot, but it's a good investment if you really want to improve that contact point with your bike. If you compare it, a good pair of Nikes could cost you also 150 US dollars. So it's always the right or best tool for the job, and a pair of flat pedal shoes would really transform your riding experience compared to using your running or gym shoes when you're starting off with mountain biking. And before I discuss the third point, if you're really enjoying this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. This really helps support the growth of my channel. Okay, last point, final point is technique. So developing good technique will help you master using flat pedals. Once you've gotten the right kit and gear to maximize the grip of your shoes to your pedals, you want to start practicing the heavy feet technique. 
What is the heavy feet technique you say? So the heavy feet technique means you want to you drive your weight into your pedals. Another way of thinking about it, you want to feel your feet pushing into your pedals with each turn of the cranks that you make. The most common reason for that light feet feeling where you're barely putting any force to turn the cranks is because you are in too low a gear for the speed your bike is moving at. Since you're in too low a gear for the speed your bike is moving at, a minimal amount of force is required to turn the cranks. And it often results in you spinning a higher cadence to match the speed your bike is moving at. That higher cadence combined with the low force that your feet are putting into the pedals very often causes your feet to fly off the pedal. As your speed increases or decreases, shift into a harder or easier gear respectively to ensure your feet are always putting force into the pedals to maximize your grip. The heavy feet principle doesn't only apply when you're pedaling, it's also even more applicable when you're descending steep terrain. The heavy feet principle ensures your feet stayed glued to those pedals. So while you're descending, you want to drop your heels. Dropping your heels ensures you're pushing your weight into the pedals, keeping your feet glued to those pedals during those technical sections. Dropping your heels also has additional benefit since it causes you to shift your weight rearwards when you're descending, thereby reducing the feel of you moving forward as if you're going to go over the bars of your bike. Keeping your feet level whilst descending isn't good because there's a higher chance of your feet being bumped off your pedal if you hit something on the trail. Drop the heels. So in conclusion, these three tips, right kit, the right gear, and practicing proper technique will really improve your flat pedal riding experience. Because flat pedals are a really good platform for learning some of your, your, your basic techniques in mountain biking. Whether you want to learn to wheelie, whether you want to learn doing manuals or bunny hops, flat pedals would be the gateway to getting to master those techniques. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we can keep the, can keep the conversation going. If you like this video, uh, you found it was helpful to you, um, please share it with some of your other friends. They may be able to um, improve their experience whilst using flat pedals. So thanks for watching and hope you have fun on the trails. Bye.